And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Caitlyn Viego. We're going to be heading back on over to Ranked. We've been doing a lot of Path of Champions recently, but I know some of y'all want to be uh, watching us head back over to Ranked. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to have three uh, decks today. This is going to be our first one. Uh, trying out these two together. I just, I kind of want to play a Caitlyn deck. We haven't really played very much Caitlyn decks here recently and playing Path of Champions and, and uh, seeing like Draven and Fiora they used to be three threes getting nerfed. I'm thinking, man, we need to play some more Caitlyn. So let's do that. Looking, kind of looking across at like other champions to pair Caitlyn with. Deciding to go with Viego because that's another champion that we play some, but not like enough. And I think Viego is just really powerful, and we never like, you know, I want to keep showing off like how powerful Viego is. So I think these two could do well together. Um, so building the deck, we're just kind of putting a lot of flash bomb stuff um, in, and then also. Uh, the encroaching mist stuff, right? So we have the Viego package, Caitlyn package, kind of put just kind of slamming them together and then throwing in removal to top it off. So that's kind of what we got. So let's go ahead and give it a try. I think this should be pretty good because I think both parts of our deck are uh, strong. And so let's see how they work together. Um, they both want to kind of play a longer game, right? Like Viego likes playing a longer game. Caitlyn with the uh, different flash bombs want to play a longer game. There are different points of the curve with a three mana champion and a five mana champion. Okay. So we're gonna keep Caitlyn, send, send back the four, six, seven mana cards. Look for some cheaper stuff. Since we're playing against Lulu Z aggro. Yeah, no one drop. We could put a one drop in here. I just didn't, you know, just didn't really find room, I suppose. But yeah, like a Forge Master or something, you know. The deck could definitely have a one drop. The it's hard to fit in the one drop. Like maybe like you know, I have two copies of the four mana three four with Caitlyn that puts in flash bomb traps. Those could be like two copies of a one drop instead. All right, gonna try to aftershock that thing, and then keep you know, and then I'll have Mystic Shot still available. All right, so there we can just file feast. All right, so killing Zed, definitely like priority number one in Lulu Zed decks. Me miss, not by a long shot. All right, try to get them some flash bomb traps. I've got your back. Rude. I guess no real reason to attack in. That could be a good draw. Wish I could play that with Mystic Shot also. Without a sound. So we can play. Uh. Alright, cool. My steel is yours. Cool. Mm, we can take three. Area. Let's give them some traps. Traps seem pretty good against their deck. So we're doing a good job stabilizing so far. I do not like Lulu support tracker. Okay. Just want to make sure that that. Basically, I wanted to do that first. Because in case that didn't work for some reason, then we would have time trick to go look for another removal spell. But since that worked, now we can uh, play the Justice Rider. Yeah. And I'm perfectly fine with that. You know, four mana, kill my Spiraling and do three damage to me. Not too big of a deal. Oh, 
All right. Here, still gotta be worried about like another rally. I like just playing the Camel Warren Soldier over the Hydra Vine, just so you know we still have other mana to do other stuff. Cause yeah, there's another rally. Let's go ahead and see if we find removal. I guess Caitlyn counts. This Caitlyn's champion spell is the Piltover Peacemaker. And there we go. Good win. We are one and oh. <laughs> Sounds kind of messed up a little bit. That's all right. Alright, we got the same matchup again. Now, we were pretty fortunate killing those Zeds. Last time, we did a really good job drawing our removal. Um, it's hard for me to mulligan Viego, but I think we probably should. That's a difficult card to mulligan. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go with the Sting Officer, but you know, could just trade with the Green Glade Duo. Oh, Sharp Sight. Hmm. I guess they got they got Sharp Sight. Would I? Is trading Sting Officer for Sharp Sight worth it? I think so. Yeah, I think so. Because then they don't have you know. Then if they go like Zed next round, then they don't have like Sharp Sight to protect champions. So yeah. So it looks like that's what they were deciding whether or not to do. So kind of still assuming that they have another sharp sight. I think I may just play Caitlyn and pass. Yeah. And then like next round, play all my removal spells. Should I be blocking the young witch and just offering the trade? Hello there. Be the same as if, like, if I attack next round with the Sting Officer and they block, right? Like, it's the same thing. Uh, but again, you know, maybe we can get pump spells out of them. So that was one thing by blocking. Right, um, let's get more traps over there. Uh, it did make sure because, like, if we don't block, like maybe like that one flash bomb trap just hits the one two. You know, just hits the young witch. Okay, yeah. Because <laughs> once they start getting these flash bomb traps, they, yeah, they re they kind of see the writing on the wall. Once they get these traps, like it's going to be really hard for them to protect their cards and stuff. And flash bomb traps are good. I have lost a lot of games to Zed Poppy with my Dirtily Midrange deck, so it feels good to play a removal heavy deck that gets some success against it. So Teemo Swain. We'll send back Time Trick, but I mean, I like Mystic Shot Vile Feast. Those are good. Yeah, Valiant says the Flash Bombs are also good against the Bandle City decks. That's also true, because they play a lot of those small units too. Our Hextech Draggling. That's the new Brahmi Moat. So, do we lead with Caitlyn or Kimavorin Soldier? I think Caitlyn. I'm in the attack token right here. Not by a long shot. Give him Caitlyn. So that's probably going to enable, you know, a Ravenous Flock or a Pokey Stick or, you know, anything like that. 
But that's still, you know, two two cards for them. And we get them a couple flash bombs also. Alright, not another Caitlyn. We could get another Camavorn Soldier or a Hydra Vine. Or I could skip, but I kinda like more Camavorn Soldiers. Let's do that. Taking Hydra Vine. Should take a hydro bike. Luxuring Yordle's pretty good. Luxuring Yordle pretty good. Yeah, I should have taken Hydrovine. Tough places bring tough people. They should thank you. Had a good hand. Victory awaits. Teemo on one, lecturing Yurtle on four, Swain on five. I got. Justice Rider, Camavorn Soldier, next round. Okay. I've already used a couple of Flux. You know, obviously I'm really worried about a, a Leviathan coming up here if they just have that also. Then I'm in a lot of trouble. I take Viego. Everything's gonna be stunned here. I do this for her, for us. This looks really bad. So now I can kill Swain with Aftershock, but then of course they can play a new Swain. That keeps them from having Ravenous Flock. Otherwise, I just play this Hydra Vine, which is probably the way we have to go. Try to grow this Viego outside of getting killed range. Alright, so the good news with that block is now Flash Bomb doesn't hit 
that thing. Oh gosh. Man, what an amazing hand they had. What an incredible hand they had. That was an incredible hand. Yeah, I agree that I think most of the time we, you know, Viego can be fine against Swain. Maybe if I would have taken the Hydra Vine earlier, we could have dropped another Hydra Vine on seven. Still, I don't know. So, Action Lee Sin. I'm going to keep one Mystic Shot to kill an Action. I don't think I want to keep the other. Yeah, a Vengeance would have been really nice, or, you know. Financier, you know, can help us find, you know, Vengeance, Ruination, that kind of stuff. Like, one of those would have been awesome, but that's alright. Alright, let's go Sting Officer into Caitlyn. Against Ionia Sharima. I'm liking our deck, though. You know, like, this deck seems pretty cool. Don't want to die? Don't do terrible things. Hello? 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 Into the forest! Just save spell mana. I think this has gone pretty well for us so far. Okay. That's convenient. Without a Lee Sin, I think we'll be just fine. Four flash bombs right now. I guess if I would have played Karina activate, we'd level up the Caitlyn. Flash bombs are awesome. That's what we're learning here. Flash bombs are awesome. So now that dies before the Warlord's Palace. So that's two actions dead before they get their leveled up action in like the new Warlord's Horde. Um, 
I guess we could try to aftershock the palace. That's probably not worth it. Uh, we could aftershock, aftershock this scattered pod. But I'll just go ahead and do this and just kind of see what's up. Two shot barrage seems kind of cool. If this is better at shooting a lease in this piercing darkness. There's no shortage of possibilities, but there's always a best. They're all enemies. Strain five from a unit. All right, two shot barrage. I was kind of figuring that they'll probably draw, you know, like another one of these like flash bombs, and it's like three on one something, then two, then one. I hate traffic. Where are you at? You're at 14? 15, 16. That'll be a level up, Diego, right there. Suspicious activity detected just outside the station. Stay on them. Backup's on the way. They do like to draw lots of cards, so Justice Rider seems pretty good here. If they're going to be drawing cards, give them more flash bombs for each one they draw. I think we got this one. Of course, we'll cover up that 5 2 so they don't get it back. One deny out of their hand. Cool. Because Lee Sin's like not even leveled up yet. Sorry. I always forget the sound's messed up and I can't click over. But yeah, this deck seems awesome. Caitlyn and Diego seems like a really good combination. Alright, Sejuani and Gangplank. This is going to be the toughest match, I think, for us from all the decks that we face. Like, I think I'd rather face, you know, Timo Swain all the time. Because Sejuani Gangplank play, play some very large units, and very large units can be tough to kill. I'll just send all these spells back Look for a curve out of units. Not a good hand either. Yeah, this is not a good hand. I have my camera Caitlyn back. have to shoot that thing anyway, and I know it's still doing one point of damage to me, but at least it won't do more than that. So we're going to have to kill that card anyway. Safety will cost Coming through. Solving crimes. So I guess nabbing counts as drawing, right? So like, they nab from us, that still counts as drawing a card. Now my mystic shot. That's pretty rude. 
thing I don't like about playing Viego here is, you know, it's pretty open to getting Monster Harpooned if I play it right now. But I also don't have anything else. Like, if I pass and they pass, it's not that great for me. Maybe we just attack. But then they play Gangplank, and now I can't attack the Powder Keg. Ugh. Let's do this. And so yeah, they nab from me and we get gave them a flash bomb trap. Alright, so I didn't give them a Viego to hit with that, but Get yours. Neither the flames nor the deaths can claim me. We got some Hydra Vines. This will be my magnum opus. I wonder if Hydra Vines can take over this game. Kinda of risky. I didn't I don't have like a one mana spell to go grab. Anyway. Alright, Hydravine. We already know I'm out of two mystic shots also. Like I had one earlier and they nabbed one. I'm not greedy. Stop grabbing my cards. My cards are good. I don't appreciate the nabs. You die. Build water is mine and mine alone. Zon taught me to never let my guard down. So looking like Having all the Hydra Vines just is too slow. But I mean, now we're drawing the Camelborn Soldiers. It would have been great to have these Camelborn Soldiers earlier whenever I had nothing to do. Um, but that wasn't the case. Gross. That was not the case. Alright, we're taking like all the damage in the world here. Could have gone Camelborn plus Viego right here, couldn't I? Maybe I should have done that. Alright, so yeah, I can go Camelborn plus Viego. Level up, so that's gonna level up Diego. We're gonna kill Gangplank now. They'll have a new Gangplank they can play. Main question is do we want to attack with this 3 3? And I guess not. One good turn, hey friendo. I'm going down to four. Troy won't do any good. Okay. 
This is great. So now we get to steal the Dreadway. Interesting. So that thing does six now. Okay. Wow, Viego stole it. Viego with the win. Four and one. Wow, really showing off the power there of leveled up Viego and, and you know, just having the Hydra Vines and stuff. And, yeah, that was one that I didn't expect to win. But there at the end, you know, like we uh, found our Camp Foreign Soldiers and got to combine those encroaching mists. So, yeah, four and one. This deck really did feel good. Even the, even the game that we lost... You know, kind of felt like our opponent just had a ridiculous hand against the Teemo Swain deck. But one, I th like, I think the Teemo Swain deck, we would we would be favored in overall. You know, um, over the long haul. Um, but you know, we lost that one. And that game plan said Juani, maybe we wouldn't necessarily be favored over the long haul. But um, encroaching miss are really strong, and they can steal games like that. Uh, so I think everything worked out pretty well. You know, we didn't have a one drop in here at all. Uh, but I think that we were okay without it. I did like the just like I actually did kind of like the Justice Riders. They actually looked pretty nice, um, and just flash bomb traps in general looked really good against like the Zed Poppy decks. Like, um, yeah, I think our deck played out really well. Could maybe have some more vengeance, but that's kind of the thinking of like the Pharaoh's financier is supposed to find vengeance and ruination for us. So it's like kind of like we're playing more copies of vengeance with those. Uh, maybe that if there's like a card that was like the weakest card in the deck, maybe the time tricks. But the time tricks do help you win those longer games also. All right. So pretty good. Pretty good little deck here. Caitlin Viego to try it out some more. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments and let me know what you think of this deck. Um, hopefully y'all enjoyed it because this is a brand new deck that, um, you know, I think did really uh, impress. All right, but as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.